Hello guys, welcome to Tech Info. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to connect a Windows 11 computer to a Windows Server 2022 domain. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. All right, so as you can remember in the last video, I created a uh, user in Active Directory users and computers. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to connect a Windows 11 uh, client machine to this domain. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch over to the Windows 11 machine now. And as you can see, we are now in Windows 11. So uh, in order for us to uh, join this uh, domain, there are three things we need to check. First of all, I'm just gonna press start and I'm gonna type in about this PC. And just remember that you have a profession remember that you must have a professional or enterprise version of Windows 11. You cannot use home editions of uh, Win Windows on uh, domains. Uh, so you must have either a pro version or an enterprise version of Windows 11, which in our case is Windows 11 Pro. So that is our first check complete. The next thing we need to do is check and see if we can ping the gateway. So I'm going to do Windows key and R, type in CMD, which is already there. And we're going to um, type in uh, ping and then your router's address, which in my case is 192.168.1.1. As you can see, I'm getting replies back from the um, router itself, which means that we can t uh, successfully contact DHCP, which means that we can totally make connections with, with other computers on the network. So we're good to go with that. The final thing I need to do is to change the DNS to the um, IP address of the server. Now, if we were to go back into the server, and if we were to type in well, Windows key R CMD, and if I was to type in IP config, you can see that the address of this computer is 192.168.1.60. So that will be the address uh, for our Windows 11 computer for the DNS. So we're going to press start, type in control panel. Uh, just make sure that your view by is set to category. You can click on network and internet. You can click on network and sharing center. Going to click on change adapter settings. Left click and right click, choose properties. Look around for Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, and choose properties. Now we're going to use the following DNS server addresses, which in our case is 192.168.1.60. And our alternate uh, DNS server will be 192.168.1.1 which is our gateway. I'm going to hit close and close these windows. And we are now officially ready to join the uh, domain. Okay, so we're going to go into start. I'm going to look for settings. I'm going to go to about. I'm going to press domain or work group. And now we're going to click on change here. And we're going to be a member of this domain. And if we go back to our Windows Server 2022 machine, if we were to press start and type and look for server manager, you'll be able to see that our domain is nti server.local. And that's what we're going to enter into the uh, domain box on our Windows 11 PC, which I will do now. So we're now going to type that in, nti server.local, and click on OK. And now we need to use the administrator login. And do keep in mind that this is the same uh, credentials you would use if you were logging into the server itself now. Mm -hmm. 
And as you can see, it says, welcome to the ncicerver.local domain. So we can now click on OK. And you must restart the computer in order to apply these changes. So we'll hit OK. Close all this off. And restart now. As you can see, we are now back in the uh, Windows 11 machine. If I was now swipe up, first type in other user, see it's assigned to NTI server. And we're now going to log in using the uh, NTI server administrator, which is NTI backslash administrator. As you can see, we are now in the uh, Windows 11 machine. And as you can see by our account, we are administrator, which in this case is administrator of the NTI server uh, domain. So if we are to go back into our Windows server domain computer, and if we were to go and start and type in active directory, and computers if you go to computers you can see admin if we go right click choose properties we can see that the admin computer is on the um, is on the system here you can see admin NTI server .local, admin Windows 11 Pro and as you can see it's all working well and that's it hopefully this video has been helpful if you would like to request a video please leave your comments in the comment section below or you can check out our discord server and our instagram page which are the links in the video description thank you very much for watching